And I'm Jeff Vaughn. And I'm Lena Wynn. We begin with a political rarity. A high-stakes debate in California tonight with the June primary just six weeks away. Yeah, the top five Democrats and Republicans running for the U.S. Senate. I'll took on terrorism, immigration, and each other's qualifications. For more on tonight's unique opportunity to hear from all five candidates, we now welcome in KKL9 political reporter Dave Bryant. Dave. Yeah, unique because we had candidates from both parties going after one another. Usually it's one mm -hmm. party or the other. Right. Well, the debate pitted the two Democrats with well-known names, Attorney General Kamala Harris and Congresswoman Loretta Sanchez, against three little-known Republicans who had little to lose by going on the attack. Welcome to five leading candidates for U.S. Senate. At the first California U.S. Senate debate of the 2016 primary season, the five leading candidates to succeed retiring Senator Barbara Boxer traded charges and countercharges. In most cases, the Republican underdogs attack the Democrats who are leading in the polls. Like this from former state GOP chair Duff Sundheim, aimed at Attorney General Kamala Harris on crime and gun control. I totally agree with Kamala Harris that we need to keep the guns out of the hands of criminals and people that are mentally unstable, but according to the state auditor, she's failed to do that with her policies as attorney general. I mean, let's, let's stop with the political attack stuff. Um, the reality is I've taken more guns out of the hands of people who don't uh, legally deserve to have them in the state of California than anybody, and I'm proud of that. Well, that's I'm proud of the work. I'm proud of the work that we have done. Harris is leading in the Senate polls, and some analysts believe she's a shoe-in to win the race. So she took most of the hits from the trailing Republican candidates, including another former California GOP party. Party chairman Tom Del Beccaro, who clicked off a list of criticisms. And with all due respect to the Attorney General, I don't think you can support sanctuary cities. I think she should have prosecuted the police murderer with a capital offense. And I do believe that her back on track program has frankly gone off the tracks. I created in the California Department of Justice a division we named the Division on Recidivism, Reduction, and Reentry, which is a model for this country okay. on what we should do to focus on former offenders with getting them jobs okay. and counseling so they will not reoffend. That's you. a smart on crime approach. We need more of that. And when Santa Ana Congresswoman Loretta Sanchez touted her work on the House Homeland Security Committee, Sundheim challenged her on that. I think it's great that she's on the committee, but it would be even better if she actually went to the committee hearing meetings because of 13 of the 18 meetings, she hasn't gone to those meetings. And there are people on that committee that said that she's never shown up there. And I would like to respond to that, Duff, because I have been to committees and I work very, I'm the Number two Democrat on that committee, and I work very closely with our chairman. But here's the other issue. I also sit on the military committee, and both of those committees meet at the same time. But Nancy Pelosi believes that because I have the experience for both of those committees, that she wants me okay. in those positions. Republican Ron Unz, who challenged Governor Pete Wilson in the 1994 California GOP primary, stayed out of the line of fire for most of the night. And criticized the Obama administration attempts to defeat ISIS, but was even tougher on the previous Republican administration. The Bush administration destabilized the entire Middle East by starting the Iraq war, and that's why we have all of this Islamic terrorism right now. We've had two terrible administrations in their policies, though the Bush administration with the Iraq war was even worse. And when Representative Sanchez was asked about comments she made that as many as 20 percent of Muslims have a desire for a caliphate, and are willing to use terrorism to target our way of life, she defended her remarks. People said that it was about American Muslims, and it wasn't. I know my American Muslim community very well. I was talking about worldwide Muslims. Oh, and by the way, nobody has been able to refute those numbers. But here's the most important thing you need to know. I am very close, and I have always fought for my Muslim American okay. community. Thank you. And I will continue to do so as your senator. Well, there will be only one more debate before in the uh, California Senate race before the June 7th primary. That's scheduled to be held on May 10th with the same five candidates, and it'll be at San Diego State University.
they, most of these primary debates feature just those candidates from those respective parties, Democrat right. and Republican. But this right. was a mix of both. Why? And what was the impact like having both of the parties there? Well, it, it really is a, a unique system to California. Unlike other states, California has a top two finisher primary system. So the winners are the top two vote getters in the primary, no matter what their party is. And there could be two Democrats or two Republicans in the runoff, the general election. So in the Senate race, all candidates from every party are running against everyone else to get into the general. That's why the Republicans, who are running way behind in the polls, were going after the Democrats, Sanchez and Harris, because unless the Republicans make up a lot of ground in the coming weeks, it will be a Democrat versus Democrat in November in the Senate election, Lena.